Hello, hello, sports fans. Welcome to HCAM. We are here with the Junior Varsity Hiller Field Hockey. Taking on the Halston Panthers. I'm Mike Terosian. Standing in a little bit. We got some alumni hopefully coming in to do a play-by-play -play and announcing. Uh, Rowan on camera today. Rowan, who was here for our Varsity game earlier. And a little cost crunchy on Saturday. So here we go. Hopkins starts out. Hopkins Vasi uh, coming off a loss, a 3-1 to one loss uh, to Halston just before this game started. And we are now with uh, Junior Vasi. Playing on a beautiful Sunday afternoon going into the evening. Might have to turn on the lights, Rowan. I don't know. Hopkins doing a great job advancing the ball. Nice ball control. Halston takes the ball out. Can be hit by Abby Wichenbeck, sophomore. And I'll be a little delayed with the numbers as the sun's directly in my eyes. <laughs> That's what I love about working down in this field. Bonds to Che. Trying to drive it off for the Hillers. Give it to Grace Lasada. And it goes out. And it looks like it should be Halls. Do they call red? No, they call white. No, it is red. Haley Davis will put the ball into play for Halston. Yeah, it looks like she touched the the line again, maybe? Had to see from here where the field hockey is on the black lines. That is the outside lines, which is in between the, the yellow and the white. Sometimes hard to pick up on camera. And definitely had to see when I have a black fence rail uh, going along the inside line here. And getting anticipation, in anticipation for the sun dropping behind the trees. Athletic director has turned on the lights. So there should be no change in your picture. It's going to look nice and bright here. Halston on a drive right now. And we're going to have a shot by, I think that's number 24, Maya Kristen. Christine. I saw a bunch of hillers here. Oh, just whiffs the shot. Great defense by the hillers. Hillers on the drive. Kylie Locke passes it off to to Reese Interanti. Shot on net, blocked by a defenseman. Number 20, Emily Vez Falco. Probably butchering that name, it's spelled a little differently. Some nice defense there by Hannah DeBoer. Hannah DeBoer 
out there to collect it. Passes it off to Lauren Stretchy. Nice pass to Kylie Locke. Kylie Locke drives it inside. Someone's trying to get a shot off here. Hollis defends very well. Seven minutes left in the first quarter. We're playing quarters here, 12 minute quarters. And usually a two minute break in between with a five minute break at half. Allison LePage breaks up that play. Nice little chip shot. Pass over to Kylie Locke. Kylie sends it over to Lauren. And then Halston breaks that play up. Katie Bolster comes into the play. As Halston's trying to drive it out, but the pressure is on by Reese. And Halston gets a clear. Nice little drive by Maya Kristen. And Halston will get to drive it out on the whistle. As they go through a bunch of substitutions, uh, they basically can substitute on the fly. Major substitutions on the whistles. Haley Davis will start play for the Panthers. And she decides to drive, but it gets broken up by Emma. Haley Davis will take the shot and start things off, and she decides to pass it back. Hopkins okay, defense doing a great job keeping Halston out of the goalie circle. Hopkins ball on the whistle. Halston as Amanda Harris breaks up the play. And Adelaide Barra tries to drive, but Hopkins defense prevails. Halston try to drive it out, but Hopkin stops him. Harry, Harry. 
Oh, there's a breakaway chance for Haley Davis. And that gets stopped. Awesome ball. Amanda Davis sends it. Almost looks like a shot on that, but it went wide. Halston first on the ball. But Hannah DeBoer for Hopkins will start things off. Minute and a half left in the first quarter. Hopkins doing a nice job getting to the ball before Holliston. And a shot on that by Caroline Quarter goes wide. Halston uh, taking the shot. Phoebe Werner. Broken up by Kitty Bolster. Hopkins on the drive now. 20 seconds left. Halston breaks up the play. Haley Davis trying to get in there, trying to get a shot off before the end of the quarter. But Hopkins is not going to allow that. Katie Bolster driving it. And that's going to end it for the first quarter. So 0-0 zero, zero after one quarter of play. We're going to take a short little two-minute break and be back with the second quarter. All right, second quarter of the JV Hillers versus the Panthers here at Hopkins High School on a great Sunday afternoon. Going into the evening, we got the lights on, so I guess we're going to call it evening now since the lights are on. And uh, Hopkins will uh, start things off. Hopkins doing a great job on defense that first quarter. A couple drives. And try to get a shot off here in front. On, and met up by her to Hillis. And stop. Got Haley Davis trying to break in there as well as Abby. Richard back. And it looks like Halston gets the ball and will have, have an attempt to score here. Julian McLeod drives it into the crowd. Broke it up by DeBoer. McLeod working strong. And Halston will take it again. McLeod starts, it gets broken up really quickly. Nice drive by Lauren. Kylie Locke driving, and I think we got an offsides call. Nice play broken up by Grace Lasada.
Hopkins still with the possession. Lauren Striche. Shot just wide. Austin will drive it out. Amanda shut. Austin will take it from the top of the circle. Grace Osana puts it in front of the net. Kelly Locke trying to make a play of it. Unlucky, but Hopkins is going to get a uh, chance here. At the top of the, should be at the top of the 15 meter circle. Oh, no, going to the 20. Going to 25 yards out. I think that might have been too high left. I believe uh, has to stay on the ground. Ball's out. Hopkins will bring it back in. Reese and Tenoranti will put it into play. Yeah, broken up hard by Ellie McGrath from Hollister. Now oh, McGrath's turn to make a move. 7.46 remaining in the second quarter. Dug out nicely by Reese. And goes out the back. Holliston, Amanda Shutt will bring it into play. Oh, I think they just gave it to Abby Wichenbeck. Hopkins doing a great job keeping it on the Halston side of the field. Kylie Locke gets broken up, still with it, and cleared by Abby Roach. Jerry McLeod trying to make a play of it, and still Hollister with possession. Abby Witcher back. Nice pass up to Abby Roach, but whistle blown. Roach trying to make something happen here. Under a lot of pressure by Emma D. Michelle. Michelle McCarty Locke. Locke trying to get in front of Lily Anderson, who's in front of the net. And that play is broken up by the Panthers. Nice defensive action by Amanda Shutt. 5.34 remaining in quarter number two, Sunday, October 18th at Hopkins High School. Emma DeBichelle, the nice hit in at front. And to be honest with you, I don't know what that whistle was. I'm just guessing uh, it was a high stick. Because I know you can't bring it above your waist when you swing. Julie McLeod, first on ball. And is broken up by Najala Batra. Probably killed that name, I'm sorry. I wasn't able to talk to the coach and get some pronunciations on all these names. Every Witching back will start for Holliston. 
And the Panthers are on the drive. Broken up nicely by Nia Kunam. Great pressure by Nina. Sweet little pass to Katie Polster. Katie gives it goes to Emma D. Michelle. And Hall the turnover to Hollis and Abby Roach. We'll bring it up to Adelaide Bearer. Bearer's gonna try to bring it to the middle, try to get a shot on. And broke it up nicely by a hill of defense. Battle between Adelaide and Emma. Adelaide was able to pass it off nicely to Maya Christine. Maya right, Christine didn't try to, oh, with the shot. Try to get that shot, that backhand shot. Great job by the Hopkins goalie. Christine. Galigo. Hopkins now will drive to the Hop to the Halston zone. Kitty Bolster, she looks to pass it and gets it off to Emily Kimball. Kimball trying to get it out in front. Two and a half minutes remaining. Also on the drive, on the drive, Phoebe Wernberg. Oh, and she loses the ball. Gains it back. Cleared by Galigo. Go battle out in front. Uh-oh, Halston with the shot. And scores, Phoebe Wernberg, with two minutes remaining in the in the quarter. Uh, Halston goes up on the board, one to nothing. Impressive drive by Halston. Also down with possession, Phoebe will take it up. Oh! And Katie Balsa takes a ball to the face. Doesn't seem to be affected by it. Kirsten trying to pass it off to a teammate, dribble it into pressure, pressure like that. Halston still remains with the ball. Phoebe, Phoebe Wernberg puts it up in front and sets up a shot. And it's cleared by Christina. A lot of passing going on, but Halston is still determined to keep it into the Hill of Zone. By right, Christine battling. And tries to get a shut off, but it was after the whistle to end the first half where Hopkinton leads. I mean, uh, Halston leads one to nothing. We're going to take a short two minute break for the half.
All right, we are back for quarter number three here. Hillers versus the Panthers. Sunday, October 18th. The Junior Varsity field hockey game. Uh, second half action. The teams will change sides. And Halster gets to the end. And uh, Hopkins, a little late getting out of their huddle. You know, two-minute halftime break. But they had a lot to talk about being down one to nothing. So I'm sure there was a lot to discuss to try to get the Hillers on this board. And they're all pumped up. They're ready to play. So the girls will take the field. Looks like they're short a player. And here comes number six right here. Okay. <laughs> I was wondering. And Halston gets first pis Yeah, I think there was a... They had to restart the clock. There was a... Okay. So the referee just wasn't ready. So restart the clock. One... Two, and we're back in action. Hopkins doing a nice job getting to the ball first. Giving that pressure to Halston. Okay, Ballster up to Grace Lasada. Lasada trying to set something up. And she gets beat. Also doing a nice job with the stick handling. By Christie, that, that gets broken up and Hopkins has a little possession and they're gonna start a drive. Um, Meyer on the move, bunch, threw a bunch of Hopkins players, passes it off to Haley Davis, and that gets broken up, and Hopkins going to try to try to put some moves on their net. Much needed score right now by the Hillers as they are down one to nothing here in the third quarter. I'm your host, Mike DeRosian, giving you a little bit of play-by-play. Katie. Okay, gets broken up, but she's still going to the ball. Chris Lasada trying to battle Haley Christine. And now here comes DeBoer. DeBoer uh, Hopkins in will take the shot. It's Olivia Chen out there. Oh, she thought she would get it over the stick of Julia McLeod, but it didn't work. And Hopkins with the possession. Lasada on the drive. Looking for that open player. And there's your chance right there. They found Katie Balster. Ball on the move to the net. Trying to put a shot on. Trying to get inside that scoring circle. And Halston defense just, just all over that ball. Sato put it into play. Sato looking for Ballster. Said tries to dump it into Reese and Tiranti. Katie, oh, Katie with the swing. She's going in. That's broken up, and we got a penalty shot. Looks like some kind of penalty shot.
Okay, way back 25 out. 25 yards out is Katie. Katie drives it in, trying to put it in front. And it looks like we'll get to do that one more time. Calling her out to the 25 yard ring. And this time, they're going to change that. Oh, they're going out. Going out even further. Extra in the middle, right into the stick of Hollister. Side out of Bolster. Bolster. Trying to make a turn. And she passes back to Emma DeMichelle. Oh, DeMichelle trips over a leg of a Hollister player. And nice wheels on Lasada. Get back on D. DeBoer breaking it up. Yeah, it just goes out. <laughs> Referee call for the ball to be put on onto the line. They like it right on the line, not behind it. And we got some players changing. Emma gets the whistle and tries again. Nice dump off to Lauren Strache. Nice defense by DeBoer. Strache tries to get back into play. And whistle goes Hopkins way. Strache jumps it off to Emma D. Michelle. And nice work by Batra. Batra up in front to Locke. Locke off to Batra. Into the corner. Try to, oh, nice wide open up in front. And there's the pass to Locke. And I have no idea what that means, but it's Hollison's ball. Treche will start things off 30 yards out. Five minutes remaining in the third. All set down with the drive. L.A. Barry gets broken up. The ball puts it into play and dumps it off to Emma. Emma staying on the ball. Finds lock. Oh. Lauren Strache keeps it in. Lock in desperate need to get a shot out to net here. Passes it to Emma. Emma. Oh. That was uh, Batra. Halston battling. Battling it back, trying to get it into the Hill zone. And the Hill midfielder here is doing a great job of keeping it in the Halston. But, oh, rare, rare opportunity for a ball to get past DeBoer, but DeBoer hustles back. And it puts the ball back up to the play. Gets it out of the zone, blocked by Lawrence Strache. Strache battling. Abby Wichenbach. Wichenbach passes it through. And another, another save. I said Hadley working hard, a couple saves there. And the Hills will try to drive and try to get one in. 3.30 remaining in quarter number three.
Paulson will have an opportunity to move the ball. As the sun sets, no longer blinding us. So the camera work should be getting better as Rowan can now see where the ball is without being blinded by the sun. Block dribbles by a couple defenders and gets tangled up by every which are back. Halston on the move and looks like uh, L.A. McGrath will get things going here. Nice pass to Adelaide Barra, but Hopkinen moves it again. Willie Anderson driving up the field. And I have no idea what the call was, but Halston gets the ball. Phoebe Redberg has broken up. Also, LePage doing a great job keeping the red out of the zone. And Hill has remained with possession. Even after that whistle. Also with a huge drive, Adelaide Barra. But the Hopkins defense dominates. Now I have to tell you, I played a little field hockey during the uh, Keith Swallow Fabry fundraiser. And, you know, shooting a ball and with a stick like that on a field is tough enough, but trying to run hunched over like that is, is really tough. Also defense stops the drive by Lily Anderson. And they're going the other way. And Hopkins stops some hard near midfield. And it's going to go Hopkins' way. I mean, Halston's way. And Anderson gave a good effort to try to get in before the end of the third. So, Halsa still leads one to nothing. It will be back for the fourth and final quarter. All right, the Hills are pumped up to get into this fourth quarter, try to get themselves on the board. Junior Vasi Field Hockey, Hillers versus the Panthers of Holliston. Fourth and final quarters, the last 12 minutes of game, and Holliston will start off with the opening pass. Hopkins has 12 minutes to put themselves on the board to tie. But they want a victory here. So great as Diggles Lock right now. Nice pass over to Chen. And Chen, oh, Chen gets, oh, and there it is. Over the goalie's foot, Locke is digging. Oh, just outside. Just outside. Kylie Locke. Locke stops the inbound pass. And again, wide of the goal. 
Nice to see Hopkins getting some shots on net. That's what they were lacking the last two quarters, is getting some good shots on net. A lot more energy in this Hiller team for the fourth and final quarter. Must have been one heck of a pep talk by Coach Tori Harvey. It was assisted by Laura Yukovichulis. I know I butchered that name up. But that's what they get when they don't talk to me and give me phonetic spellings of their names. Nice little battle over there by the far sideline. Locked all out in front for Chad, but Hopkins being first on that ball. Keep well, try to keep it in. Nice job by Olivia Chad. Great effort by these two, Chad and Locke. Really got a stronghold of their offense. And uh, I don't know who's going to score first. Uh, another whistle. Also drive. Oh, right to Chen, who dumps it to Locke. It takes another shot that was deflected by Amanda Shutt. Halston played a very, very strong defense. They don't want to score at all to blow their lead. Hopkins digging it really hard. Locke is just all over the field. She's everywhere. Locke and Lasada. Keeping that offense strong, and there's a shot by Chen. And that's busted up. Lasada still battles for the ball. Also just wants to keep the ball on the outside, less likely to get a scoring opportunity. Shoche gets beat there, and Halson's going to start a little drive here. Lasada battling, trying to keep the ball from going over midfield, but Halson gets a chance, and DeBoer will drive it out. Great defense by DeBoer. De Michelle driving on the outside, looking for an open player in the front. There's a shot in front of the goal. Halston's defense on top of it. Holding back Katie Balster. Whistle blown as Batra tried to move it on in there. This is going out to 25. 
Trying to go between the legs of the Holliston defender. No luck. Holliston now on the drive. Six minutes to go in the game. Hopkins trying so hard to get on that board. Some great stick work by Emma D. Michelle holding off the Panther advance. And Hoss is going to start things here. Shot out in front. It was pushing in. J. Michelle fighting. And it goes out. Yeah. A little airplane action up there. <laughs> Hopkins, 25 yards out. We'll drive it in, Katie Bolster. Dave Michelle trying to get through like a double team. Hopkins is still their way. Dave Michelle will whistle goes Hopkins' way. There's a little dump in the middle. And I have no idea what that means, but Halston will take possession. Four minutes to go. Emma D. Michelle comes out, being replaced by Nia Kunim. And we get... They want to wait for the other player to be in position. Hopkins still dominating the time in the Holliston end, but they need to get a shot out to the goal. Three and a half minutes to go. Nice little drive by Abby Witcher back, who dumps it off to Adeline Barra. Halston looking to get another shot on the net. Oh, and it's a blocked. Whoa, nice save by Madison Hadley. It went between the legs, but she got it with a heel to push it across the front of the net. Keeping their deficit to one. 2.40 remaining. All right, so Hill is action. Driving it to Holliston for another scoring attempt with uh, a little over two minutes remaining. And great job by Nina Kuna. Puts it up in front, but nobody's there to receive it. Abby Barra. Brings it up to the way, and Hopkins takes possession. Durante passes it off to Balster. Balster trying to get that in the middle. They need a shot right here. And she takes it. And that runs short. 1.30 remaining in the game. Halston Panthers one, Hill is zero. Halston went out of bounds, so Halston, uh, did Halston, Halston touch it, so 25 yards out is where they'll start. They gotta get to that ball quick. Gotta get a minute left. Can't hang around, put the play on. 
on the stick of Halstead. All she has to do is clear this to the other half, and it's over for uh, the Hillers. But nicely kept in. They go in Tenerati, drives to the middle, and it's broken up. 49 seconds. Tenerati tries to drive it through to Panthers. Panthers ball, 27 seconds. Oh. Hopkins back again. Nice chip to the middle. Also ball with 19 seconds. So that's probably going to do it for the Hill and Drive. Great effort. I mean, they dominated three quarters of play staying in the Halston end. But they were unlucky to get a decent shot off. They were 2 1 0. And that's going to be the game. So. That's going to wrap it up. The Halston Pan Panther JV takes one nothing win against your Hillers. Well, Rowan, thank you very much for running the camera tonight. Everyone, we'll see you next week for some more field hockey and soccer action. Take care and have a good night.